Absolutely gutted that that was just six, to be honest. Uh, wow, we, we should have scored ten, and that's no exaggeration. The chances we had when we're six, two up, just mad. That's exactly the type of play that we want to see. All those fans prying for Mourinho back. Pfft. Brother lost two nil against Leicester today, and they barely had a shot. Like, that's the type of football you miss? Come on, man. Like, oh. My days. No, in all honesty, Oli deserves some unbelievable credit today. No manager has been criticised as much as he has. And we're third in the Premier League with a game in hand. Five points off Liverpool. But it's the manner of play that we played today. And also the tactics. Apparently he's tactically inept and he's a PE teacher. But let's be honest. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Who thought that Daniel James or, well, Scott McTominay, fair enough if you thought he was going to start. But... The complaints before the game came out, uh, sorry, before we started the game about those two starting. Ollie knows what he's doing, of course he does. He rested McTominay, he rested Fred against Sheffield United, played them today. We played a high intensity pressing game and it was wonderful. One touch, slick, fluid football and it was fantastic. And Daniel James and Scott McTominay both got on the score sheet and they both had brilliant games. So, you know what? Fuck you if you thought, uh, you know, sorry, if you doubted Ollie. Pretty much, like, you know, the dude gets so much slack. It's so, so much. And, yeah, it just it just needs to stop the agenda, pretty much. The agenda, the standards he's held to more than any other manager. And I just don't understand why. People just love to hate him. They genuinely do. And they can't give him an ounce of praise when he deserves it. But my word, he deserved it today. Not that you'd know that if, uh, you know, you'd watched it on Sky like me. Uh, you know... Leeds, yeah, I get it. You know, they're they're an attacking side who play uh, an expansive brand of football and they've just came up from the championship. But my word, it was as though we were losing 6-2 with a commentary. Like, my my God, there's praising Leeds and then there's bum-licking Leeds. And Jesus Christ, it was the latter today. Uh, you know, barely a word said about us being 6-2 up. But yeah, Leeds for the fact that they kept going and, you know... All of that, fair enough, but they're still losing by four goals. Like, let's not forget that. For as, as good as your work rate is or, you know, you're creating chances, you're still losing by four. And, yeah, I mean, right at the end, I think, uh, was it Martin Tyler said, uh, you know, oh, maybe we should give some praise to Manchester United. <laughs> really? We only scored six. Oh, but anyhow, ridiculously lightning fast start. Something we haven't done a lot of this season, and I'm sure Ollie's been berating the team for starting slow. And my God, we didn't today. <laughs> McTominay, two minutes in, gets a goal. Um, you know, it's it's a pass from Bruno Fernandes. First time hit from outside the box. Wonderful, wonderful finish. And literally less than a minute later, McTominay gets played through again. I think it's Martial. Brilliant first touch to take it away from the defender. Slots it in. 2-0, three minutes in. You're thinking, fucking hell, this is insane. We get the third shortly after. I think it's something like 12 minutes in. And it's that man, Bruno Fernandes. Uh, the ball's played through, I think, by Shaw uh, to Martial. Uh, it's defended well, and then the ball comes to Bruno, and you know he's going to score. He scores. And Bruno Fernandes, you know, the guy who can only score penalties, has scored the most non-penalty goals for a midfielder this season. Exactly. So, anyhow, uh, five goals for Bruno that are not pens. I think he's uh, scored four four penalties now this season so what's he on nine goals for a midfielder it's just ludicrous he's had 30 goals or assists uh so goal contributions since he started uh, since he joined uh, 28 games i think and he's had 30 goal contributions for a midfielder it just wow it, it's absolutely absurd but anyhow three nil we could have made it so much more i can't even remember we had that many Chances. I think we ended the game with 14 shots on target. The joint most since Sir Alex Ferguson retired. And yeah, we managed to get a fourth. And uh, I'm just going to formulate it in my head what this one was. Um, oh yeah, it was a corner. Uh, it's flicked on by Martial, who at this point has two assists. And yeah, Lindelof slots it in. Lindelof deserved a goal. He's had some unbelievable criticism. And yeah, some of it's warranted. I've criticised him. You know, he's had some terrible performances over the last couple of years. But... He's also had some very solid performances, and I feel like we get no credit in the defence, whether it's Maguire, Wan-Bissaka, Shaw, Tears, Lindelof, Twanzebe, other than Twanzebe against PSG, he did get a lot of um, praise. But yeah, 
we're, we're just seen as this banter outfit who can't defend. And yet we've made a lot of critical errors, and I get it. The criticism sometimes is warranted. I don't mind that. It's the lack of praise for when they play well. And Lindelof has been really, really good in the last few games, and he deserved this goal. Uh, and then we unfortunately give a chance away. Uh, it's a corner, and it's a header. Um, pfft, I can't even remember who scored. Was it Cooper? I think it was. Regardless, uh, you know, Leeds get a goal just before half time, but uh, we don't let it get to us. And second half kicks off, and another couple of chances, but we finally get the fifth goal. And uh, oh god, who was this one? Um, oh yeah, it was Dan James, wasn't it? Yeah, he scored the fifth. Uh, the ball's played through by McTominay. I don't think he aimed for uh, <laughs> for Dan James. I think he aimed for Bruno. But anyhow. Dan James takes it well and slots it underneath the goalkeeper to make it 5-1. And a brilliant decision from Ollie to play him. I thought, you know, this was a perfect time to give Dan James a little bit of a confidence boost. Because he started so well for us last season. And he played nearly every single game. When he was bought to be a bit part player, let's be honest. You know, he, he was bought to develop a little bit more. He's still really young. 21-22. Alone is being talked about potentially to Leeds, who did want to buy him. But, um... Yeah, I feel like that would do him the world of good. Because, uh, yeah, th there's quality in there. He just needs to work o work on his um, his final decision-making, really. Um, but, yeah, he got a goal today, and I thought he played really, really well. He got an unlucky uh, yellow card. Uh, it wasn't a dive. Uh, it's not a penalty either, uh, that one. But, uh, yeah, it, it was definitely an arm across him, and it potentially was a free kick. But, anyhow, he got booked for diving. Um, which, yeah, I mean, fair play. Gary Neville pointed it out and said, yeah, he didn't think it was a dive, which was good. But, uh, yeah, then we get a six. It's Rashford with some brilliant dribbling uh, into the box, and it comes to Martial, and he gets tripped. It's a penalty, and Bruno Fernandes steps, steps up and uh, scores his fourth penalty of the season. We had a record number of 14 penalties in the Premier League last season. Leicester, in 14 games, have had nine penalties. Now, if you hadn't read that stat... Were you aware of that? Like, where? who has said anything about Leicester's ridiculous amount of penalties this season? Nobody. Of course they haven't, because it's not Manchester United. But anyhow, uh, we get a penalty, and then after that, uh, Leeds do manage to get a, a, a goal. It, it's a wonderful finish. Like, take nothing away. This was phenomenal. Um, and I can't for the life of me remember who the fuck scored it. Um, oh, bloody hell. Oh, I can't remember. Who cares? <laughs> Um, and then after that, we should have scored more. Martial was played through brilliantly for Bruno Fernandes. And uh, it, it's... Uh, Martial had three assists this game, uh, by the way, because he gets one for the penalty as well. So he had a really, really good game. But yeah, definitely should have scored this one. Uh, should have put it more into the corner. But regardless, good save by Mersley, I think, uh, however you pronounce the goalkeeper. Um, then Bruno and uh, Rashford get subbed off for uh, Edison and Donny van der Beek. And yeah, we create more chances. Cavani had a couple, Martial had a couple, Dan James had another one. Uh, we, we should have put more than six past leads today. We really should have. That's the only criticism. It was only six. But the win takes us up to third, five points off Liverpool with the game in hand. Well, one point behind Leicester, who are second. Um, so yeah, I can't wait for the game against Everton in the Carabao Cup. They're on good form. They've picked it up again. Uh, they're fourth, I believe. Just below us, we've overtaken them. Uh, but yeah, they've had three wins on the spin following their win against... Um, who was it that they beat recently? It wasn't... Was it Chelsea? No, they, they beat Chelsea and then they beat someone else. Leicester. I think it was Leicester. Um, but yeah, they're on a three-game winning streak. Um, and yeah, we're, we're unbeaten in the last eight Premier League games, is it? Seven or eight? But yeah, regardless, absolutely brilliant. Uh, you know, I, I'm so happy with that performance. Phenomenal display. And yeah, give Oli credit. For fuck's sake, give Oli credit. Yes, we're out of the Champions League, okay? Uh, we started the season with a shit pre-season. We've had some piss-poor performances. Of course we have. But he did say give me five games. And we'll see where we are. And yeah, since that point, since the 6-1 loss to Spurs, the only blemish on the record since then is unfortunately the loss to Leipzig. Um, which cost us Champions League, which is annoying. But yeah, we go into the Europa League, and uh, if we get knocked out by Real Sociedad, we can just focus on the Premier League, really, because that's that's the main thing this season. Mountain a title charge. We have the quality. We have the belief. We have the players. We have the manager to do it. Let's bring Title Twenty One in. Come on.